Good afternoon, everybody. It's me. It's the old Cappy Boy, and today we got another bang flavor. Uh, this one is Delish Strawberry Kiss trademark. Um, you can see that the can is not using the new design. It's I guess it's a I guess it's a you know, one of those one shot kind of things where it's like special or whatever. Though, I was trying to see if there was, like, relation to, like, you know, some kind of artist or something. Because this really gives me, like, pop idol vibes. The colors and all that nonsense. I didn't really see anything on it. Maybe we'll see it in, like, a testimonial or something. So you kind of have, like, a, you know, a speaker sort of background. Like, you know, like, if you look at a speaker past its, like, pop filter kind of thing. It kind of has those, like, little circles there. And it's pink. That's well. It's pink and reddish, I suppose. I don't know. Uh, you color people out there can tell me what color this is. <laughs> uh, nope, this is looks like the same old testimonial that we always get. Do I need to read this again? Yeah, I'll read it again. Uh, from the makers of the Red Line Energy Products. Sorry, legendary Red Eye. <laughs> Make no mistake, Bang is not your stereotypical high-sugar, life-sucking soda masquerading as an energy drink. High-sugar drinks spike blood pressure sugar, producing melabotic mayhem, causing you to crash harder than a test dummy on a brick wall. Power up with Bang's potent brain and body rock and fuel, super creatine, caffeine, CoQ10, and EAAs. Life is an extreme sport, and Bang is the extreme energy source to live life extreme. I've read that so many times. Um, don't drink this if you're under the age 18. Made in the United States. There's some patent logo thing. And then, you know, zero carbs and all that nonsense. Don't drink this. There's a caution thing. Uh, if you're sensitive to the caffeine, you'll be off the walls. Or feel like your heart's beating out of your chest. Something like that. Uh, nutrition facts and ingredients, it's pink on, or white on pink, rather. Eh, it's a little annoying to read from a few feet away, but then again, I also just, like, woke up, so, like, <laughs> it's, it's also, like, vision still, like, adjusting to light. Anyway, serving size is one can, calories zero, zero grams fat, saturated fat, and trans fat, zero milligrams of cholesterol, 40 milligrams of sodium, Zero grams of total carbohydrates, zero dietary fiber, zero sugar, zero added sugar, and zero protein. And we also got zero micrograms of B, D, uh, vitamin D, zero milligrams of iron, 27 milligrams of B, vitamin C, uh, 0.5 milligrams of B6, 5 milligrams of magnesium, 5 milligrams calcium, 85 milligrams of potassium, 8, or, uh, sorry, 5 milligrams of niacin, and... 1.5 micrograms of B12. You know, all this stuff is the same with this thing. Carbonated water, citric acid, natural flavors. Caffeine. Oh, uh, caffeine. Caffeine. Sodium benzoate. I'm per, I'm, uh, I was combining two at the same time. Um, potassium citrate, monohydrate, sucralose, EAAs, alucine, alisone, alvaline, L-lionine, L-theanine, L-pyrothenanine, L-histidine, L-methanine, and L-tyrophan. Uh, potassium phosphate diabasic, vitamin C, which is azorbic acid, potassium sorbate, magnesium chloride, super creatine, which is creatine leucine, it's that amino acid bond, um, Calcium chloride, calcium disodium, EDTA, a B3, which is niacinamide, uh, CoQ10, vitamin B6, pyridoxine hydrochloride, and vitamin B12, which is methylcobalamin. So there you have it. It's all crammed in there. And there's another warning thing, too. Um, lots of warnings all over. Bang. <laughs> Let's open this thing. Should it be... Is it going to be delicious strawberry kiss or is it going to be the kiss of death? It's going to be clear because they don't put colors. Yet, I'm still using the old mason jar. Sort of fragrant from my little 
few feet away over here. Um, it smells of fake strawberry flavoring. Um, not quite like, you know, when you get a snow cone and they use those strawberry syrup. No, it's more like almost chemically, like the, the strawberry scented, like, you know, floor cleaner or something like that. I don't know. Like, I don't know what floor cleaner strawberry scented, but that's what it reminds me of, like a cleaner. Let's see up close. It kind of reminds me of that other one we we covered not too long ago. The um, the one with the jet. I can't remember the name on it, but maybe I'll link it. Yeah, that's what the smell smells like. It's like it's like that. Let's have a sip. Hmm. Nothing too much right out of the gate, but that quickly changes. It does develop some sort of flavor, even in the first part of the, not even in the middle part. It does develop a sort of fake strawberry taste. Reminds me of the uh, fruit shoot I used to, I covered on the blog a long time ago. You can, I'll probably link that as well. But yeah, it tasted like that, and it tastes like overly sugary sweet, and there's a bit of a strawberry flavor to it. Definitely not authentic at all, like not like fresh, you know, packet of strawberries that you might buy at the grocery store or your uh, produce store or whatever. Um, very candied-like. I will say it is quite persistent. That flavor stays strong from that where it starts to develop in the first part of the first part of the second part of the first part of the taste it really peaks not really in the middle part of the flavor but towards the end as well as where you really get that like how sweet and yeah this is a fake strawberry scent tasting thing um Kind of like electrons around an atom, there's a sort of medicinal taste, but it's not really like off-putting so much. It's just there. You you'll know it's there, but it's not like Ugh, I can. I, well, you can get through it yourself. Another big aspect of this is the like sucralose taste, and I think it does a decent job. At, intertwining with the strawberry flavor i don't really know if this was just like a repurposed version of that jet one because that's what i'm getting vibes of i believe that one with the jet it had like a minty taste i think i said this one doesn't have a minty taste at all it's just kind of like fake strawberry flavored something if you really love strawberries, like you like taking a nice bite out of one off a, a little cake or something, you're not going to like this. You're going to be like, oh, this tastes weird. It tastes almost chemically. Um, does it taste how it smells? Almost. It is serviceable, though. I, I, as much as I'm saying I don't really care for it too much, it's not a horrible energy drink. If someone bought this for me and I'd be like, oh, he got me this flavor. All right, I'll drink it. That's that's my attitude towards this one. But honestly, I think it's just way too similar to that one with the, the jet on it. I it, it just... I don't really see that much of a difference. Are they just, like, rebranding it? I guess I could look into that and I could put it on the blog if I find out. But my guess is no. I think they're running both at the same time. Because I, when I bought this, I think that jet one was still on the shelf, too. So, I'm going to put this one as, like, um, so you know how, like, the Flash is, like, the fastest dude, and then there's, like, Quicksilver, who's also, like, the fastest dude? I'm going to put, like, their, you know, sort of duality of this out of rad <laughs> as the rating. <laughs>